Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. So let's find out what is going on in your love life. Okay, so Gemini, what I'm seeing from these particular energies is that some of you are being very deeply affected by the past, okay? I'm getting the impression here that you may have been involved in a relationship with an individual from the past and that relationship that you shared with that person, it might have been a very difficult one because this particular card is in reverse position. This is giving me the impression that, you know, there were challenges there, there were difficulties, there were things that you wanted to do for this relationship, or perhaps things that should have been done for this relationship, not only on your end, but on the end of the individual that you were dealing with, but it wasn't really, you know, um, going in that direction. For this card to come in reverse position is giving me an indication of some of the, you know, problems that might have been emanating now, the card that it is next to is showing to me an unhappy situation that could have been happy. There's an element here of a relationship breaking down. It feels as if the toll of what happened between you and this person concerned really, you know, was very uh, strenuous because we see that certain things were affecting the connection in a huge way. And these are things that were unresolved. They didn't have an opportunity to, you know, find solutions. You might have found yourself in a place where you were looking for the solutions. You were trying to make things work. But no matter what you tried, it just didn't pan out the way you had wanted it to. Someone was being very independent in the situation. Someone was thinking about their own needs. It feels like the energy of where, you know, there might have been a relationship prior to this connection that you share with this individual. And it feels as if it's either you were involved with this other person or they were involved with this other person, right? Because I'm picking up this energy of unhappiness here and it feels as if it was ongoing for some time. So this is a very specific message, right? I am sensing that someone was being used in this other relationship, this uh, relationship before you met your soulmate or the person that you wanted to be with, right? So this is not including the person that you're dealing with right now. It could be before you or it could be someone that they were dealing with, um, you know, in their love life. So I hope that makes sense. It could be that you had someone that was using you or this person had someone that was using them. So I feel like there was a lack of happiness until that point of meeting each other. And there's a lot of um, clarity. There's something that was needed uh, to be done in the situation. It feels as if 
you may have wanted to get out of those circumstances or this individual wanted to get out of those circumstances, but it feels as if that emotional baggage of what was occurring before carried through in this newer relationship that you have with this individual concerned, okay? I feel like both you and this individual, the new person, were working towards having um, a real connection here, a connection that was based on a different sort of energy, an energy that neither you or this individual were used to. But someone was definitely tainted and damaged from a previous situation and it definitely had an effect upon this current situation. I feel like there was a lot of things that were left unsaid between you and this new person. I feel like the full scope of the emotions that you were experiencing or this individual was experiencing the new individual, it didn't come to the forefront in a way that it should have. It feels like uh, motives and intentions weren't as clear as you would have liked with the new individual. There might have been doubts, fears and insecurities about their intentions or what they wanted from you or you could have, they could have been uh, feeling that way as well. There was a real hesitation here. I feel like there's a lot of hesitation to really go for this relationship or to give it the chance that it deserved. It feels as if there was a, you know, a lot of excuse making, uh, going around in circles for both you and this individual. And this went on for some time. So you were dealing with a person that had an issue in terms of either letting you in or perhaps you couldn't let this individual in to um, you know experience this connection and for both of you to treat it with the type of respect that it deserved i do feel like it wasn't um, really a priority at the time because those deeper issues were working on a subconscious level and they were having an effect upon this relationship perhaps neither you or this individual concerned were aware of this right and it was playing a role it was playing a lot of havoc it was uh, creating a lot of chaos it might have, um, you know, caused this unnecessary energies to become a part of the current situation from the past situation. So it was carrying through. Someone was really, you know, making decisions that were based on either playing a game or wanting to win. It feels like that. There's a lot of regrets that were had in this newer relationship, things that shouldn't have been done or things that uh, shouldn't have happened between the two of you. This feels like it was a fresh relationship that was uh, having a lot of potential, but it feels as if it didn't have the sort of um, complete dedication to it, the potential it could have reached. So I feel like someone didn't really follow their heart here. Someone didn't follow, um, you know, their instinct or trust their, their gut about this person. Perhaps it was you or this individual concerned, you know, misjudging you. There's a lot of um, misjudgments, assumptions, things of that nature that are coming into play. It really did have an effect of tainting the situation. I feel like the past energies were so negative. They were so dark and, uh, you know, it was a very ugly sort of karmic energy. So you could have had a a karmic uh, partner before this person or they could have had a karmic partner before you but that definitely had an effect i feel like at this point in time things are you know at a standstill there's an energy here of where neither you or this individual are moving uh, forward right now so i feel like instead of following one's heart someone was inside of their head there's a lot of emotional turbulence that I'm picking up from one particular energy. It could be a combination of both you and this individual concerned. But it feels as if that emotional turbulence was uh, either unresolved energies that should have been dealt with but were ignored because it feels like this relationship happened really fast or uh, it was a very unexpected sort of connection that came into your world. But it um, definitely left an impression upon you and upon this individual but I feel like there's um, there's other things that are playing a role right now between you and this person concerned. 
So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at the feelings and thoughts of this individual as well as their perception and how are they, you know, coping at this moment in time, right? I'll also be exploring solutions and providing advice in terms of how you should move forward given what you have been through with this individual concerned. I'll be uh, taking a look at uh, their mind heart and soul energy as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.